Hello everyone, thank you for rejoining me on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Neville Goddard's concept, the bridge of incidents. Before I do that, I want to say a huge thank you for your response to conversations with Kate and especially to Connor McCormack. I really can't express how much I enjoyed that conversation. You know, Connor was someone who was perfect as a first guest in the sense that our synergy was there. This was such an organic exchange. It was the, the mutual respect and trust was perfectly pitched. And by being as he was, he enabled me to showcase conversations with Kate in a way that really demonstrated my vision. And because of that, some incredible things have happened as a result. And I just, I'm so full of Thanksgiving. If I sound a little congested, I actually woke up before 5 a.m. as is my habit. And my heart was so full of Thanksgiving and gratitude. I had to just do some morning devotion and just worshiping God and just enjoying the presence of God. And as a result of that, I got a bit emotional, but I'm perfectly healthy. I'm just explaining why I might sound a little bit stuffed up. So once again, thank you very, very much for um, the support that I'm receiving, um, but more importantly, that this message is getting out there. So that's that. So in this clip, I want to talk to you about the Bridge of Incidents. Those familiar with the teachings of Neville Goddard will be familiar with the Bridge of Incidents. Now, we have different goals once we become aware that there is a new expression of life awaiting us, depending on what it is, it can, they, these things do have their different gestation periods and Neville talks about that something small like a chicken's egg takes what 21 days to mature and hatch or however it goes and then an elephant can take up to two years so you can get the you get an idea of what he's saying you might need something in the immediate present like um, some money and that money shows up within a, a few hours of you going into the silence or whatever it is that you do or you may want to start a large business that employs hundreds of people that process may take you over a year or you may want to repair a relationship which could take weeks or months or to get someone out of a hospital or out of, of prison or whatever it might be or someone might be in rehab or you might want to buy a house with no resources so these different events can take different lengths of time and sometimes the length of time is the, can make all the difference you know people get discouraged along the way and they sort of lose faith they lose heart they lose sight and conclude that it hasn't worked but as Neville said the vision will flower it has its appointed hour if it seems long wait it is sure it will not be late and so I just wanted to remind us I felt inspired this morning to remind us that there is a gestation period but one of the things that happens during that period is that we are taken through a sequence of events that are taking us toward the fulfillment or to where the, the end goal has been fully um, expressed, if you like, is now fully objectively real. Okay, so how do you know if an event is an incident on this bridge or not? Well, here is a fantastic tool for checking in if you just need that extra boost. So this is not something I'm saying that you have to do, but if you kind of feel things are taking a bit long, but then all of these surprising events are happening in the meantime, are these the, the incidents that Neville is refer referring to? So this is something you can do. You want to find a quiet corner. It's best if you're uninterrupted. You're going to close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in. With your eyes closed and smiling, I want you to imagine that you see not darkness per se, but a rich kind of gray tone space around you. And if you think about it, let's just say it was black as in the absence of light. It was blackness, the absence of light, but pulsating through that blackness is this pearlescent light. I'm sure you can get the, the picture as I'm describing it to you. And in the middle of that space, there's going to be a tunnel bathed in light. Now, this isn't going to be brilliantly luminescent, but you will be able to distinctly see a tunnel. I want you in your mind's eye to look down that tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, there you are, 
living as this new expression, living in this new expression. Okay, so I want you to think about yourself as this new expression. When you think about yourself in this way, you should get the response in the way that we've described, which is a sensation above your diaphragm, the region above your uh, lower internal organs, just beneath your lungs. Okay, once you have that sensation, you've locked in, I want you to recall some event that is surprising to you, something that you were not expecting to have happened, but which happened, and it could be absolutely anything, a phone call, an email, a meeting, something you get in the post, it could be absolutely anything. Okay, so when you are on, in that tunnel or looking down that tunnel and you bring into your field of thought this event that's happened, if you receive a tickle in the back of your throat, that is an on the money confirmation that this is an incident on your bridge of incidents. Okay, you also could get a sensation above your diaphragm. Anything good that happens to you is going to make you feel good. It's going to excite you. Okay, so when you are aware of that sensation, you're going to absorb that and confirm that this is an event on the bridge of incidents by saying thank you. Before you open your eyes, take another deep breath in. Remember, you're always smiling and you say thank you, and you are sealing that event, acknowledging that that is an event which is part of the sequence of your bridge of incidents. I want you to trust this process. I'm not talking about things that you can connect to other events going on in your life. I'm talking about the most unexpected events happening to you, things that you didn't see coming. These are the events, the sequence of events that make up your bridge of incidents. Now, if you don't get the sensation I'm describing, or you feel anything beneath your diaphragm, your solar plexus region, what that means is that your conscious thought, your human mind is beginning to interfere in the process. And with investigation, you will find that you are trying to figure out how that happened. Maybe you made it happen in some way. Do you need to reach out to someone? Do you need to do something? All of this interference is logic and reason. And remember, logic and reason are the enemies of the operation of consciousness in this process. So we're going to park our humanity. Our humanity is not in control here. Our humanity is our servant. Our body of consciousness is in charge. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to absorb these surprising events and acknowledge them as events as part of the sequence of your bridge of incidents. And this will spur you on. This will keep you motivated. Remember, depending on what it is, the gestation period will differ. But if you lose heart and jump off prematurely, you're not going to get to that end point. And you may be led to conclude that this doesn't work. This isn't true, but it absolutely is true. I am living proof that this is true. And although I say that, I do acknowledge that perhaps what we need to do is start showing people, giving people more evidence, showing how this is happening. So don't worry, all of that is, is being turned over in my mind. And I will actually begin to invite people to share their stories um, if that would help. But for the purpose of this clip, let's stay focused on this bridge of incidents. This is something you feel. And because you feel it, because you know it's true, you don't need anyone else to confirm that for you. This is why it's so important that these experiences are so personal to you. So if you find yourself wa wavering or feeling that, oh my gosh, this is taking too long, whatever it is, you can check in that you are indeed on that bridge of incidents. It is okay for you to do that. Although I do caution you or um, encourage you not to worry too much about what's happening so that you don't start that process of really trying to figure things out using logic and reason. Just trust what you feel. Remember, we are constantly using the spiritual language of emotion. That's all that is at play here. So thank you for joining me again. Have fun with this today. So just to recap, if you need to motivate yourself, 
Just take some event that has been surprising to you, something you didn't see coming, something that you weren't expecting, and place yourself in that space of consciousness in this kind of gray, it's, it's such a rich gray tone. You will know it when you see it. Don't try to force yourself to see it. Trust that you can see it. You will see this tunnel. Know that you are at the end of that tunnel, living this new expression of self, having undergone this transformation. Remember, I don't know what it is. It could be anything. It could be you as the head of a corporation it could be you in your new home it could be you doing some spiritual work it could be absolutely anything just see yourself at the end of this tunnel and then absorb this event recognize it as one of the events on the sequence of your bridge of incidents and then continue your day as normal take a deep breath in say thank you and continue as normal i hope you've enjoyed this tip today I look forward to seeing you in the next clip.